What's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. and in this video um, I wanted to show you guys a very simple um, built-in method. Um, long story short, uh, I have we have a printer at the house and it's an HP OfficeJet Pro 8100. Now with this printer uh, it was directly connected to uh, to the computer uh, I'm on a separate computer right now um, but it was directly connected and there weren't any they could print from the local computer but it wasn't set up wirelessly so we wanted to um, obviously set up the printer wirelessly so everybody can uh, print from it and not having to share it from that specific computer and on this specific printer they're really there aren't any options to manually find the printer and type in the password. All it has is that WPS key um, where you just press the Wi-Fi and it just waits for the router to find it. In our case, um, you know, that router didn't have one. So in order to do it um, very easily is you would probably already have this software, the complete software installed. So what you would do and I'm just showing you where it is on the other computer I'm using that it does work. But what you would do um, is either on the desktop, it would say, and your model might be a little bit different, but the software is uh, pretty universal. But so ours is the HP OfficeJet Pro 8100. So you'd either open this or you can just go to start and type in HP. And then you'd find the actual printer. You would click that. And from there, you just give it a second. So we'll just pretend at the moment that the printer is not connected wirelessly. And so we have to do it uh, using the HP software. So once you get to the HP printer assistant, uh, you're going to go over to utilities. And over here, um, there's something here that says printer setup and software. And you would click that and now on mine um, mine says connect the new printer reconfigure wireless settings or add more self add more software this is what mine says because I'm using um, mine my computer isn't directly plugged into the printer but once you actually click that once you click the printer setup and software there there will be another option that says uh, something to the degree of uh, switch uh, USB printer to um, to uh, to a wireless printer, and you would select that option. And I believe it's actually right underneath connect the new printer. So you would click on that. It would bring you to the next screen. Um, you would click next, and then you would select the um, the router that you want to connect to, the SSID is what it's called, because uh, it'll give you a list. You click on that, whichever one you want to use, and then from there you type in the password of the router, go th and then just hit next. It'll say installing this and blah, blah, blah. And then after that, the actual light, uh, the blue light on the printer itself uh, should be a solid blue. And once it, once it is a solid blue, on on any other computer uh, what you would do is you would just go to start uh, you can type in um, you, you can type in printers if you want and you just go to devices and printers and then you would go to uh, add printer at the top left here so this is where we would be using a separate computer and it would say add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer and we would click that and we would find our printer and then we would click next and then from there um, we would install the software uh, if the if Windows Update does not find that specific software uh, all you have to do is just go to hp.com and type in whatever your model number is in the uh, support section and then just download the, the basic driver. You don't have to download the whole um, the whole full-featured software. Just get the basic driver, 
and uh, it'll take care of it from there if you can't get the software. But typically, um, you should be, and this will work with uh, Windows, um, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and so I, I believe 8, 8.1 and 10 would typically find the drivers automatically. There are some times where 7 does not find the specific driver. That was my case when I wanted to connect to the printer. So I did find it, but I had to manually install the software. So if you have the CD, you can use that. If not, go to hp.com, type in support, and find your exact model number, and install it that way. And then from there, you'll see in your devices and printers that on whatever other computer is connecting to it wirelessly, it should say whatever the printer is, um, you know, and then it has the network in parentheses. So I hope this helped. Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Uh, like once again, very easily. Um, if you cannot go to, if you have a printer set up uh, to one computer and you want to set it up wirelessly, you don't want to move everything, you don't want to reset the printer on that specific computer, go to the HP OfficeJet Pro software, go to utilities, go to printer setup and software. And then you'll have an extra icon that is not on my screen, but there will be an option that says um, uh, something to the degree of switch from USB printer to wireless printer. And your printer will still print to the original printer, um, but now anybody else who connects to your router will be able to print wirelessly or through the network or even wired through the network. So uh, I hope this was uh, beneficial. I hope it helps you guys out a little bit, um, make things a little bit easier. So uh, thanks for watching. See ya.